Hi everyone and welcome to the start of a new vlog. It is Saturday afternoon and I've been spending the morning packing because very excitingly I'm off to Croatia tomorrow as part of an influencers trip there with Jet2 Holidays. So I'm really, really excited. I'm sad if my mum can't come with me. We often travel together, but with this it was really only for bloggers and influencers. So there will be five other influencers going along with me. And I wish my mum could come, but I'm obviously really grateful to have the opportunity to go myself. So I've been packing this morning. It took me a little while to pack because the weather looks rather changeable. There's definitely rain forecast and not that much sun at the moment. I'm hoping the weather will be a bit better in Dubrovnik than it looks right now. But to cover all my bases, I've got about three different types of raincoats packed, I think, and a cardigan, as well as a swimsuit and some pretty dresses that I've rented from LK Borrowed. I told you about that in my recent Favourite Things video. I'm so glad to have the opportunity to rent the dresses and it's perfect for holidays and travel. So I've packed quite a few of those as well. And of course I've packed some books um, because I will never be without a book on holiday. That took quite a bit of deliberation as well. But I decided to bring War Among Ladies by Eleanor Scott. I've told you about this one already, it's the new British Library Women Writers one. And it sounds really good, it's set in the, well it was written in the 1920s I think, and it's set in a girls school, but it's very much about the politics of the staff room. So I think it sounds like a really interesting read, and I've been really wanting to get to this one, so this is going in my handbag, I'll probably read it on the train to Manchester because I'm heading to Manchester this evening because our flight to Dubrovnik is really early on Sunday morning. So they've booked us into a hotel in Manchester tonight so that we can get to the airport in time. So I'll bring this and read this on the train to Manchester this afternoon and Probably I'll read a bit in the hotel as well when I get there. So I'm really pleased to have that. I did pack two more books as well, just to be on the safe side. I mean, I'm expecting to be really busy because I have our itinerary and there's a lot going on. We're going there for five days and they've planned a lot of amazing activities for us. I can't wait to do it all. It's my first time in Croatia too, so I'm really, really excited about it. So yeah, I'm expecting to be really busy and not have a lot of reading time. But just in case, and because I will be traveling on the flights and trains and all of that, I brought two more books with me as well. So I brought a British Library Crime Classics. I've packed that in the suitcase and that's Final Acts. And that's a collection of short stories that are mysteries all sort of set in the theatre or about the world of the theatre and I thought it would be good to have a short story collection with me because they're very easy to read, a nice book to pick up and maybe just read a short story one evening if I have time. So I've brought that one with me and then I also packed a Persephone book Expiation by Elizabeth von Arnhem. I always like Elizabeth von Arnhem and this is one I've been really wanting to read. So if I finish War Among Ladies, then I'll be able to move on to Expiation. So hopefully I'm covered <laughs> when it comes to books. But anyway, I better get going. Mum is driving me to Harrogate so that then I can get the train to Manchester. So better be off but I hope to film as much as possible as I can on the trip. I'm not doing this um, for YouTube content, it's for blogging and Instagram content that I've been invited but I still want to try and take you along with me via video as much as I can. So let's get going. 
Hi, so I've just got to the hotel right by Manchester Airport. It's the Clayton Hotel and it's really convenient. We were able to walk right from the train station. I met one of the girls who's on the trip, who's coming on the trip. She, we were on the same train, so we were able to walk to the hotel together, which was great. And I've just come up to my room to have a bit of a freshen up. And then I'm going to meet some of the other bloggers downstairs in the hotel bar, have a little drink. Won't be staying up late though because we're getting the shuttle at 5.30am in the morning. So I'm going to have to be up pretty early tomorrow. So I'm back in my room now. I had a drink with all of the other bloggers who are on the trip and it's such a nice group of people which is really lovely. Most of the, of the travel stuff I've done in the past I've just done sort of by myself. This is one of the first group um, trips that I've done and it seems like a really nice bunch of girls so that's really lovely. And it is now quarter to nine so we are getting the shuttle at half past five in the morning to the airport. So I'm going to obviously have to get up very early. So I'm going to go and shower now, get myself ready for bed, read a little bit and then turn out the light and get hopefully a really good night's sleep and definitely an early night for me. I also brought a chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> with me actually my mum packed this for me <laughs> thank you mum so I've got a little bit of chocolate um, I might even make myself a cup of tea and have my chocolate read a little bit and then just go to sleep so I'll see you in the morning <laughs> So today we are off for a walk around Dubrovnik, the city walls, all of that. I'm so excited. I've been really looking forward to this day. So that will be fabulous. In the afternoon, I think we're going to one of the nearby islands and we were thinking of swimming. I don't know if we'll be able to because I think it might rain, but we'll still have a bit of an explore, look around. And then tonight we're going straight on to another lovely sounding restaurant for supper. So I can't wait and I'll take you along and film as much as I can.
Good morning everyone, it is Tuesday morning now and I'm just filming a little bit before I'm going downstairs to meet everyone for the adventures of today. We had such a wonderful time yesterday. It was so magical to go into the old town of Dubrovnik and walk all amongst the city walls and up above getting the view. Oh, I hope I've managed to capture some film that does it justice a little bit because it was so beautiful and just such a fascinating historic city as well. We had a guide who took us around and she was brilliant. It was really interesting and even though it rained, it was actually really atmospheric. There was a sort of mist that hung down over the hills and it just made it feel very moody and autumnal and quite sort of romantic in a way too. So I so enjoyed going around Dubrovnik Old Town. It was really fascinating. And it's such a great group of other bloggers I'm with too. The five other girls are really lovely. And then there are two men from the Jet2 team who have joined us. So it was a really fantastic day. And I was thrilled because, I'm just gonna show you, I managed to pick up a little gift for my mum. So, Dubrovnik and this sort of part of Croatia apparently is quite famous for its embroidery. Um, they have beautiful examples of really exquisite traditional embroidery from the area. And I really wanted to buy something embroidered for my mum. So I asked the guide when we were in Dubrovnik if she could recommend somewhere where I could buy some embroidery. And she took us to this really lovely little shop that was a bit out of the way from the main kind of really busy touristy streets. I can't remember what it was called. I think I took a picture of it. So if I did, then I'll sort of pop the picture of it up here. Uh, so I was so pleased to find it. It was a really nice little shop. And they had some embroidery on offer. I picked up these embroidered handkerchiefs. I don't want to take them out too much because I'm going to be giving them to my mum um, and I thought how beautiful they are so they're hand embroidered you can see here and I just think that they were very very pretty I love the floral element of course which my mum will as well so I was so thrilled to find something hand embroidered from Dubrovnik I'm going to bring back for my mum and then I also picked up a little embroidered bookmark. This is a bit more in the sort of traditional style from what I could tell. It's typical of the type of embroidery that you see around here. And I really liked it. I got this one just for me. I was silly, I forgot to bring a bookmark with me actually, so I can use this straight away for my book. Um, but I thought how pretty that is as well. I really liked the different co colours. So I was thrilled with that. And then I got something else for my mum too. When we were in the old town, we went into this market square where they were selling a few different things, fruit, vegetables, but also, also some homemade delicacies. And the guide um, offered us some little dishes that apparently they, apparently they serve usually as an, with, uh, alongside an aperitif that's often a sort of brandy. And with these brandies, they'll serve little slivers of sugared orange, some sugared almonds and dried figs. So she had us try some of the um, sugared almonds and figs and orange peel and it was so delicious and apparently they were made by the woman who was manning the market stall. So I bought some. Fortunately, I had a bit of Croatian cash on me, so I was able to buy just a little thing to take home for my mum. So you can see the sugared orange peel, and these are the sugared almonds in the middle. So I think she's going to really 
enjoy these. They were really tasty. And again, it's just nice to have found something to bring back from Croatia for her because I hope one day she'll be able to come and enjoy it all herself. She would have found actually the city quite tough in some ways though because doing the walk all up high um, on the walls is quite strenuous if you know you're not able to walk a lot um, so that would have been hard for her but she would absolutely love seeing Dubrovnik so hopefully one time she and I will be able to come come back together. <laughs> but in the meantime, she can sample some of the delicacies, so that will be really nice. So yes, I was really pleased to do a bit of gift shopping. Always want to come back home with a little gift, so I feel good to have found a couple of things now. And this morning, we're off for more adventures. We're going to Ston. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Apologies if not. But we're going to Ston and we're going to sample the oysters there and do a walk. Um, I think they have sort of like these high walls as well. And it's where they produce salt. So we're going to look at the salt pans and also sample oysters in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we're moving on for wine tasting somewhere, which I am very excited about. <laughs> excited about all of it, obviously, but it sounds like a really lovely day. And fingers crossed it won't be as rainy today either. I mean, we're still having a wonderful time, even with the weather being not quite as you might want it to be. Apparently it's quite unusual for it to be so rainy this time of year. Um, everyone's been telling us that normally you get really good weather until like the end of October or something. So we've been a little bit unlucky with the weather, but it still hasn't really dampened <laughs> our spirits at all. It's still been so much fun. And Dubrovnik um, just looked really atmospheric atmospheric like I said yesterday but hopefully today it won't be as rainy so that would be nice because um, hope, hoping to get a bit more sunshiny photos but we'll see <laughs> but it's going to be amazing anyway so I'm really looking forward to it so I better get going get myself um, just finished getting all my things together make sure I've got both my cameras and all of that in place and yeah, then I have to go down and meet everyone in reception. Might have time for a little bit of breakfast before then, I'll see. But anyway, as always, I'll bring you along and share my adventures of the day with you.
you from my balcony this morning, which I'm very excited about as it's not raining and I can show off the amazing view in the background there. It's so lovely to just hear the sea. It's actually our last morning. We're flying back this morning. I think the last time I spoke to you was a Tuesday morning. We had such a busy day that day. We were just out all day long until 11 o'clock at night. And then we had to be up extra early on Wednesday morning because we caught a boat to Miljet. I don't, I don't think I'm saying that correctly. I'll put the name of the island up here. Uh, but we went to this island that had a national park on it on Wednesday and it was so beautiful, such a peaceful, gorgeous setting. But we were quite late um, last night as well. So I thought I'd just hop on and chat to you quickly this morning. I've packed, I'm pretty much ready to go. Just need to go down and have breakfast, take a few more photos of the hotel and then we'll be getting transportation to the airport so we've had such a wonderful time tuesday like i said was a really full-on day but it was definitely one of my favorite days we had so much fun in the morning because we went oyster tasting at a small town called ston ston um and that was so much fun i really enjoyed it oysters are definitely a speciality of the region all of the food has been amazing. So much seafood and fish. I mean, if you love that type of food, then this is the perfect place to come for that. I really love fish, so I have been really enjoying it all. And the oysters were so fresh and it was so fun. We went on a boat and yeah, it was like the perfect setting. Then in the afternoon, we had a little wine tasting and that was a real sort of revelation to me. I'd never had Croatian wine before and I didn't really realize that they made a lot of wine. I don't think they export much. So it was very special to get to try so much Croatian wine on this trip. I'm hoping to maybe pick up some bottles in the duty free at the airport to bring back for my mum, I'll have to see. But yes, that was a real highlight as well. And then, like I said, on Wednesday, we went to the National Park and that was so, so beautiful, really special. And I had a bit of time to sit with my book and just feel very relaxed. So that was lovely. But I better just finish making sure I have all of my bits and bobs together now and go down and have breakfast and get ready to go. So I'll see you on the other side. Hello, and I'm back in Yorkshire. It's lovely to have her home. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely to be home. I mean, obviously I had a lovely yes, time. Yes, it sounds amazing. <laughs> it, it was really a real was. adventure, but it really was. lovely. Yes, yeah. yes, it was yeah. a real adventure. Um, wish you could have come. Oh, well, maybe one day we'll get to go <laughs> yes, together. Yes, exactly, be lovely. exactly. Mum's made me a cup of yeah, tea, really which missing. I am gasping yeah. for. <laughs> I haven't had tea all week, because that's one thing... They definitely do coffee more than tea in yes, Croatia. Yes, so yeah. This is my first cup of tea in a long time. And Yorkshire tea waiting for you, so mm. very nice too. So, so nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had a smooth uh, journey back, which was wonderful. And we're going to just collapse soon and have a nice yeah. evening. But I wanted to just You've film got... Mum unpacking her presents. Wow, so I brought wow. a few little things back. Wow. from Croatia look. for you so yeah they're a bit <laughs> not very elegant in no, this bag but, that's but the, the, let's bring it over yeah, here you, okay. you do a little unbagging okay okay <laughs> well right away I yes, can you hear can the hear the chink. clinking <laughs> oh no these ones you try yes so these were um, this was a wine that we tried in the wine tasting oh, that, looks that I went to. And we tried two red wines on that, and this was my favourite. Oh. It was such a revelation, actually, how nice Croatian wine is. Well, yes, because I don't think I've ever tried any. I, I've never had it before. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think they export it really no, much at all. No. They just sort of make enough to yes. consume within the country. Yes. But yes, I had this one at the wine tasting and it was my favourite. So it, it's a red wine. Yeah. But as we're going into 
or show them, you know, yes, kind of yes. red, red wine. wine. You like yeah, red I like wine, red don't wine. you? Yeah, so I do. Got this one. Lovely. And then I enjoy that. This one was quite a special one, mm -hmm. and we had it at one lunch. Love has got a lovely donkey Yes, on it. Oh, sorry, I'm not really showing um, the labels, but um, yeah, so another red Ooh, that was really, very really nice. nice. Yeah, a lot of people really enjoyed this one on the trip, it really stood out. Mm -hmm. Though all of the wine was yes. really nice, but anyway, I was pleased when I saw that oh, in the well, duty free. You. That was lovely. I'll show you this uh, label as well. It's very attractive as well. It is, yeah. yeah. Both nice, yeah. aren't they? And then I can see something that has my name written all over it. <laughs> yes. Oh, so I've said honey. already on this that um, Croatia is famous for its embroidery. It's beautiful. And I got. I don't think the handkerchiefs are actually too like. Um, Napkins? I think we use them as napkins. Yes, yeah. I know. I thought that we could use them as napkins. It'd be yeah. really nice for like tea time. Oh, they I thought lovely. to use them as napkins. They're beautiful. Um, they definitely have the weight of napkins. They do. I, I think I thought at oh. first they were handkerchiefs, but I think no. they are napkins. They're gorgeous. Oh, oh for our afternoon tea. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thought you'd like the little floral. I do. No teeth. Yes. Lovely. And it's hand, oh, hand embroidered. That's beautiful. I really treasure these. Oh, but we'll I'm enjoy like using it. them. Yeah, That's we'll enjoy thing. using Is them. There a oh, my camera just died because my card is full. <laughs> not surprising. Not, not surprisingly. <laughs> I mean, it's good it lasted me this long, yeah, right yeah. to the end of the trip. <laughs> Um, yeah. So I've just swapped over to my iPhone for now to just film this last bit, which is just to show uh, the chocolate bars that yes, I brought back. Yes, they're so lovely. And I lovely, lovely to call them Dalmatian, which of course is the name, isn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, the um, Dalmatia. Dalmatian coats. Yes, yeah, Dalmatia. Yeah. yeah. So they look so good. Yes. I love milk chocolate. Well, I got you um, yeah. two milk chocolates with white chocolate pieces. Oh, wow. Because Even I know yummy. you, you really love, love white, white chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, And then I got too. one for me of just milk chocolate. Oh, we'll share. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she you can have the extra, extra one. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, honey. Oh, and it's lovely oh, to oh. have you back, well, too. It's lovely to, to be home mm. again. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes, I think we might finish our tea and then maybe open one of the wines Wine. <laughs> and yeah. have supper. Sounds good. So yes, we're going to do that now. Okay. <laughs> Hi again, everyone. So I'm just popping on really quickly today to wrap up this vlog before I start another vlog. I hope you enjoyed discovering Croatia with me. Uh, I really enjoyed putting this all together and reliving the trip as I was editing the video. And I also wanted to say that I did finish War Among Ladies. I read it mostly in the train and the plane going to Croatia and then on the plane coming back from, from Croatia. And I finished it and I really enjoyed it. I'll do a proper review probably on a reading wrap up vlog, but I just wanted to say that I thought it was excellent. It's quite a sad story. It's quite harrowing, but it really packed a punch as well. I think it was definitely written to make a point, obviously about the teaching profession. Thank goodness a lot has changed since this was written, although there is still a lot that is relevant today as well. I think teachers would find this a really interesting read, but I'm so glad I read it. It's very thought provoking and I really enjoyed it, though I'm still a bit haunted by the ending. But yeah, it was a great one to bring on the trip because it was quite gripping and it was just nice and light as well. I could have it in my handbag and it was great to just read on the plane. So I really enjoyed that. And then I'm not quite sure when my next video is going to go up. When this vlog goes live, it will actually be my birthday on the Friday that this goes up. And my dad is arriving the very next day and we're going to be spending some family time with him. It'll be the first time that he'll have visited Yorkshire and to see where we live. So I'm excited about that. And we're going to 
do some birthday celebrations with him and also just have a nice time together. So because he's visiting, I'm not quite sure when the next vlog will go up. It might be a bit delayed. I doubt it will be next Friday, so it might be a few days delayed, but I'll announce more about that on my Instagram at the time. But thanks so much for watching this vlog and thank you as always to everyone who left lovely comments and press the super thanks button on my last few videos you're very much appreciated i hope you all have a wonderful weekend ahead don't forget you can subscribe to my channel by clicking my face that pops up on the screen over here but yes have a lovely weekend and thank you for watching goodbye